So last week, when we talked about Joe Manchin, he claimed that he's against the For the People Act because it's too partisan. That's his rationale. It's too partisan, so I can't support it. It doesn't matter that in 2019 he co-sponsored the For the People Act when no Republicans supported it then as well. Um, I don't know if it was zero Republicans at most. It was probably like one or two, but I think it was probably like supported along party lines. But um, it's too partisan. So I know that he doesn't actually care about this. Uh, he's being lobbied by the Koch brothers, and they're encouraging people from West Virginia lawmakers, policymakers, to reject the partisan agenda in D.C. He's like literally using the same rhetoric as uh, the Americans for Prosperity, which is the Koch-backed firm. Um, so he came up with this plan. So he, he doesn't want to be demonized by the party, right? So he came up with this compromise, like a watered-down version of the For the People Act, which basically strips away all of the anti-corruption provisions, which is really what's driving a lot of the alarm among the donor class. And he thought that this would get support from Republicans. And Mitch McConnell basically came out and said, hey, Joe Manchin, fuck off. <clears throat> he had to expect this, right? Like, he... <laughs> So let's read the story because uh, Jake Johnson of Common Dreams uh, breaks it down here. So the title is McConnell makes clear all Republicans will oppose Manchin voting rights compromise. Um, all Republicans. Doesn't matter how much you compromise it or, or water it down. Uh, there is no compromise. We're not going to support you because we're going to obstruct everything. 100% of the agenda. So Manchin looks like an absolute dolt right now, and he should feel very, very stupid. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell unequivocally declared Thursday that Republicans will support neither the original For the People Act nor a watered-down version offered by Senator Joe Manchin, who has continued to insist that bipartisan compromise on voting rights is achievable despite mounting evidence to the contrary. During a press conference flanked by fellow Senate Republicans, McConnell said that the For the People Act and Manchin's proposed alternative are equally unacceptable and totally inappropriate. And we know why this is the case, because even if, you know, uh, Manchin made it a little bit softer around the edges, removed some of the more egregious, uh, egregious elements that got rid of the, um, the regulations on campaign finance and dark money. I mean, Mitch McConnell wants there to be voter suppression because Mitch McConnell wants power. So he's not going to support any element of this. Like to even think that you get a single Republican vote delusional. All Republicans will oppose that, McConnell added, referring to redistricting reforms and campaign finance disclosure rules that Manchin endorsed in a memo outlining provisions of the For the People Act that he is willing to support ahead of an expected vote on the bill later this month. Uh, the West Virginia Democrats memo, which drew criticism from progressive lawmakers, also calls for the inclusion of voter ID requirements with allowable alternatives, such as a utility bill, a proposed view, uh, proposal viewed as a sop to Republican lawmakers. They're not going to support anything. Uh, the goal is voter suppression. So even if you take out the campaign finance reform provisions, um, that like, like Manchin knows this. Manchin knows this. And in my opinion, this is all damage control. He doesn't want to look like the bad guy. He says, look, it's partisan. I want to make it not partisan. So I'm trying to do this. And so this is like his plausible deniability, right? So he seems more reasonable. So he can argue, look, I tried, right? I, um, I really tried. I, I tried to compromise. I crafted a more watered down version of the bill. And, you know, Republicans still wouldn't support it. And, you know, I, I, I can't support something this partisan. So, I mean... Look, don't don't look at me. Look at Mitch McConnell here. Give him all the heat. He he's the one who should face pre uh, the the pressure and the backlash. Um, it's just it's embarrassing. Joe Manchin is uh, very stupid. <laughs> um, Establishment Democrats have made him the public's black sheep. I 100% agree with that, Mr. Anderson says. Like, even uh, Joe Biden, he loves that he has Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin out in front taking all of the heat so he can say, look, I really tried. Like, I, I wanted a $15 an hour minimum wage, folks. I really wanted to do uh, voting rights, but, you know, my party uh, was against it. Uh, so blame them. Like everybody wants to play the blame game when I think that there's there's a lot of culpability to uh, to go around. <laughs>